You're being surprisingly quiet. I didn't realize you had hit the buttons. <laughs> Evil. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap. I'm Agoro. And I'm amused. And today's episode, we're mainly going to try to figure out how we can fill an episode while being the sword. Almost done. Productive. There's very little that we know the location of for the sake of, you know, working towards this 100%. Basically all there is is working on Pico Lights. I have grave chest marked, so I assume the graveyard has another chest that we hadn't went to pick up. Yes, it does. And then Kuka Minigame. Which is the part I don't want to do. Uh... Alright. Oh no, her chickens. Five of them in 45 seconds. This run, don't even worry about grabbing them outside. Just figure out where they all are. Also, because of the point where uh, we're at in the game, the town's a little emptier than normal. That might help. Oh, the chicken up. This has been surprisingly well. You're one short, but let's see if we counted it. Because that was so close, I'm not sure if it would. Ha! <laughs> yes! Oh. Now that's a buzzer beater. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that was... Damn impressive. <sighs> Alright. Plus that helps. Six and fifty seconds. Stop rolling. I'm still of the opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I'll accept it. Still of the opinion it might be uh, most worthwhile though to figure out where they are in a run instead of going for the getting them. Because it'd feel awful to get five and not know where six is. So we got basically each house here had one in front of them. Yep. And that makes four that you know the location of. Oh, and there's one right there. Damn. Need one more. There it is. I won't be able to make it, but that's because I was rolling around in the beginning. Yeah. Honestly, that round didn't seem too bad. You no, know, it really didn't. Maybe being calmer is helping you. <laughs> Calm. That's funny. Hey, Goldeneye. This might be taking up more time than the spinning, or the, uh... Rolling? Yep. I mean, technically rolling might be spinning, depending on how you look at it. From the side, specifically. Imagine seeing someone doing, like, constant barrel rolls while also wearing tie-dye. <laughs> Now that golden cuckoo, if I could have gotten the golden one, I think I'd be good to go. Yeah, I think you would have made it very easily if the golden one would have went in a little more smoothly. Or at all. Yeah. My point is that it wouldn't even have taken much more to get it in. Because you got it pretty close to in. Go for the gold soonest, or as soon as you can at least, because they like to wander quite a lot. Come on, 
be successful. I think it was. Yes. I was going to say, I was pretty sure you got six. You did that one with plenty of time. Yeah, I had like, what, four seconds left? Four or five? Yeah. And plenty more rupees, which will, you know, help out. Oh no! Seven and a minute. I think seven is the most you ever have to get at once. That one, huh? I see what makes this one difficult. Yeah, no, I was just saying, I can see what the douchebaggery is. I've got, what, three in? Mm hmm. Four. Five. See, two more. So I don't think you can do it this run. If that one gold hadn't fucked with you, you might have been able to. That's six. Uh, yeah, set up over there. Which, these have more than you need scattered around. Yeah. There might be a better place for them, but I wouldn't count on it. Well, at least it didn't run far. <sighs> at least it did run far in that direction, though. I'd throw that one to the right instead of down. Press a restraint. Says, I hate gold. No, you're checking down there. I thought there was only one left in, in this area. I threw one down. Mm -hmm. By the way, the round you're on, I think there are two rounds after it. I do this. And this. Can I hit the cutters with the boomerang? I don't think you can. I think you tried and figured out you can't. Alright. I think basically the boots are the only item you can use to gain any ground here, and that's if you have to run a long distance without anything in the middle. Hey! It's not like you weren't going up here. <laughs> For anyone wondering, we didn't originally plan on doing the rest of the Kuku game on camera. We planned on doing like the successful runs on camera, but cutting out the failed attempts. <laughs> but today kind of snuck up on us, so we didn't have any off-screen stuff ready. So this is the best thing we had to do for an episode. Tried to say something on what I thought would be right before it jumped. Oh, 
How many have I already got? Think four. Damn you. Go Chicons. A lot. You're one short, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Wish this was like some games in. Uh, so many games in Arizona games where you at least get like a partial reward for getting super close to the end. You know? Yeah. Are you kidding me? I'm not wasting the time for that. I forgot you could do it that way to reset. Better at that. So we've seen sniped by God, but would this be sniped by a cock? Are you suggesting they're different? You don't know what Jeebus looked like. For all we know, he's a giant piece of KFC. And I guess I do know what the Catholic and Jewish peoples think of them. It's the most vindictive versions that can come to my mind quickly. Vindictive, is that the word I was looking for? Yes. I'm probably gonna fail this time. Oh yeah, definitely. But it's fine. We got a minor joke out of it that no one's gonna laugh at. I'm laughing at it, internally. I can't afford to laugh outside. Because then I'll start getting mad. Why am I doing this the stupid way? So you remember that if you have the uh, sword out when you run, you hit stuff, right? Yeah. Didn't mean to pick it up. And it's better than when you don't when you do mean to. Yeah. I wouldn't sword too many of them, by the way. We've already tried that. Cuckoo Death is not in this game. Is it not? Nope. I tried that on purpose. Damn it. I was gonna say you were one short, but I think I saw it run at the north end of the screen for a second there. It went in after the fact. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you were still one short anyway. But like, other than that one. Alright. That's my warning about running. Yep. I don't think you can loop uh, quickly. But... Not dealing with the golden ones is the best chance I've got. Mostly true, but they're also the closer ones by far. Can you not run down the stairs? Guess not. Well, it's good to know. Yeah, the golden ones are the most tedious to deal with getting in, but I don't think they're bad enough to uh, neglect them. I didn't say neglect. I said we should get as few, or worry about as few of them as possible. Again, though, the trade-off being how close they are, I think with the time issue we're having, it's probably best to go for them anyway, because when they do work, they are the closest and thus fastest to get. Convenient direction at ran. All things considered. Oh, 
was hoping there would be two up there, but I guess there was only one. I was gonna say there is that one that was a, that lives at the top of the stairs there, but you would have had to get it down. Yep. Now that's a gold one I wouldn't worry about, by the way. So throwing it downstairs doesn't work either. It has nope, to, has to be carried. carried. Means that once you hear it, it should be fine. <sighs> I love how they keep escaping right as I'm trying to press the button. Yeah, I'm not sure, but it seems like it might be distance-based, and that in turn they might be placed uh, as a start at the exact point that you're going to need to be thrown, basically to make it challenging. It doesn't seem as tight as it could be, but it seems annoying. I'm not dealing with that. Not the button I was trying to press, but okay. Pick it up. Fuck. I mean, it wasn't moving at all. So I guess it's not the worst thing that could happen. But it's definitely not a good thing. Pick the chicken. The chicken. Given this world's naming conventions, I'm not sure he would understand the word chicken. I don't care if he understands. I'm tired of picking up... Nothing. I can't even pass this one, no matter what the fuck I do, apparently. Fucking great. Yes, yes, you can't take care of animals for shit. I get it. grab this one run because I think it was seven. Well, I would, but every time I get near it, it runs the other way. Like, if you can trace that path that you did there again, but instead of throwing it the time that you did and run with it, I think you would have had it. Unless I was off camera, which I might have been. Sorry for the lack of commentary on this, but it's just repetitive chicken grabbing and I don't have any jokes ready, so... And you don't want to hear the ones I have, because it's all about how I'm going to kill every single chicken in all of everywhere for the rest of my days. I think via our uh, agreed-upon plan, I'll be playing Skyward Sword, and I guarantee I'm going to be doing the same there. <laughs> if I hit the same issue I did... First time I played the game, and 100% of it on my own.
pick it up. Move! Apparently beside and in front of are the same fucking thing now. Land! Yeah, this needed to be more challenging. It's not like there's a time limit. jump backwards the exact moment I press the damn button. That's fine, too. yourself. Now normally this would seem pretty easy, but they're on the other side of town. that way. Can't take it that way either. So I just can't. I have to go up, get it, carry it all the way back. There's no shortcutting it. There's no anything like that. I know the last round at least, and maybe the one before it, which is this one, mentioned that the uh, swimming ability and the uh, Pegasus boots are both required to be able to do it as a way to stop people from getting this heart beast too early in the game. Now I just have to find a second one. My guess is probably in the northeast part up here. It's just a guess, I don't actually know, but, like, it's another place that's somewhat distant. Ground's not a fucking right. sign of the only other one in the entire town. All right, mailman's in my way. Cool, fine, okay.
no, it's not in the northeast part of town. It's not in the central north part of town. Not back there. Yeah, That's the one I've been after. I just looked it up, and apparently the only one that people consider requires swimming is the last room, not this one. So it's gotta be somewhere you can run to. There it is. Alright, well now I know. And apparently you can throw them, like, straight across the river with good aim. Yeah, you just have to get right on the edge of the river. Great, I love being randomly stopped from running with the Pegasus boots. Yeah, it is a shame the Pegasus boots don't work like just a spread button would. you up yet. If I'm being honest, this episode's going better than I expected so far. Which makes me really scared of this last round. Oh no. Her cuckoos, she still can't watch them. There's a gold one there. Alright, so those rocks will apparently stop me. And that's the one that it says you have to swim across to get. So I have to be right there to get it across the park. Cool. Because you can't throw it over that plank because it flies. But you know, those rocks stop anything from flying past. Because you know, rocks underwater stop people from flying overhead. That's why no one, no one's ever made it to another country by flight. There are too many rocks under the water. There it is. Alright. The part that annoys me is the fact that two of the three of these are gold. I mean, yeah, but they're also distanced away in a way where it's mainly going to be throwing them to get them there anyway. Yep. So, I'd say... Probably go after that north one first and then head over, question mark? Yeah. Seems to be the best way about it. And maybe throw a white one across the river, throw a blue one this way, pick up white one and run. Move. Also, I'm impressed you managed to grab it. I'm impressed it let me grab it. Those don't respawn, by the way. I have to start the game over for, or the mini game over for them to come back. So when there's only three chickens on the entire map, I have to make sure I don't drop any of them into the water. On the upside, you seemed like you would have had plenty of time with that path. So if we can just make it work again, and then, you know, get that throw across the water. Still impressed you managed to grab that from behind the house. 
Well, that's how it's because I was watching where it was. I wish you could fly with them in my hands. Like in some other games. Gotta love that pixel perfect throw. You know, another great thing would be uh, being able to run with them in your hands. You know, like anyone who can run would do. Instead of running straight like they normally would, it decided, hey, I'm gonna land and immediately sidestep. That chicken is a fucking ninja. I've learned a thing, by the way. Hmm. Oh! He throws them the exact distance of his roll. <laughs> that was on I wish I'd known that reason. so much sooner. Uh, can I move this? Yeah, there was like a book or something on top. Alright. Right. Yeah, that's an interesting thing to know because that gives me a strategy on how to control the gold ones. So it's cool and all that after this round you'll get a heart piece, but I'm more interested in your rupee count. Yeah, doesn't this one give like several hundred? I'm not sure how much it gives. I think what it gives is based on the cuckoos, but the point is you'll still be really high in rupees. Which is a big part of the other thing we need to do, and in turn, this is one of the three ways people talk about using to get rupees, is just farming this minigame. Because even once you're done with it, she'll let you uh, chase chickens more. I'm not sure, but I think it might be this round specifically on repeat. Which honestly is annoying. But once you get it down, I'm sure it's not that bad. Like, there are definitely people out there who know the timing on the, when the chickens jump and all that. I'm gonna see if I can do the across the river one first. No, I can't. No, I. I cannot. Well, that would have turned out better if the guard hadn't decided to come down at that exact moment. The fuck? Alright! Throw it against the wall of the house, instantly it's in the castle. You really need to stop getting cuckoos if you're just gonna fucking let all of them out. Wonderful. 
Apparently this is considered the best time to do this. Just check that because apparently normally there would be even more people in the streets. Yeah, there's normally a dog here and everything. Alright, well apparently you can't get anywhere near it or else it's gonna fucking turn around and decide it's going to fucking Vegas for all I know. Like that. Thanks for getting in the way, guard. You know, I'm running around trying to help somebody, which would normally be your job. But instead, you're gonna get in my way. That's cool. That's, that's a great motto to live by. Uh, you know, instead of to protect and serve, to uh, annoy and, you know, to fucking piss off. That's three. <sighs> my eyes hurt. My eyes hurt a lot. I did not blink during all of the last two tries of that. Now let's make sure it didn't glitch up. Fuck you! Thanks, here's your reward. Piece of heart. Just collect one more. And 110 rupees. So your how many 65. statues do we need? Uh, statues you need twelve. Twelve. If you can get eighty, no, seventy, sixty-five rupees, then you'll have enough to buy that twice, three times. So if you run down to Smith's house and dig the hole four times, you'd have enough to get it an extra time after this. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then after that, we also have a single chest we haven't picked up, and we should probably check on Pico Lake, right? The temptation to run into the house before digging it once. It looked like that's what you were going to do when you first came up. <laughs> I came for the house, not the rupees. That's enough. Yes, I want to see if I can get an extra time, because I want... We're after, what, 12 of them? Yes. Yeah. We're going to need a lot of shells. Yeah, I'm still holding out hope that maybe that last chest that we got is going to have some. Oh no, I definitely hope that that last chest has some. I'm just, you know, covering bases. Thinking of all the, like, 200 shells that we've wasted from chests is so sad right now. Yeah, not knowing that that's what they were. Same goes for rupees, too. Yeah, not knowing that that was... Okay, that's enough for three more purchases. Which is 90, which is, like, a time and a half. Or a figure and a half. Yeah. It's a shame you can't buy in bulk. Yeah. It's a shame you can't just pay dude instead of, like, you know, giving him shells. And I'm really curious about if the secret Picori menu he has has a kinstone. Oh. 
throw. He does have a secret Picori ladder back there, and you know he doesn't have a way to get out into the main shop from there, or out at all from there. So who's restocking his secret Picori minion? Unpaid Picori intern. Alright, first, the grave. Hoping that it will have uh, shells. Indeed. Damn it, move. Oh, there's also something else we wanted to test at some point, but I uh, probably don't have the money for it. Yeah, pick a light cost 200. What do we want to test? See how well the uh, pick a light worked. I don't remember how to get to the grave. Can you go to the garden? I think it's down that ladder. Because that uh, block pushing thing it was away across the river. Mm. Yeah, because you had to have three elements to do that, and you had three elements when you went to the grave. Now for the annoying part. Try to ignore the uh, ignore the birds and ghosts if you can. Yeah. Why do you do that? Checking something. No. Is it up, left, left, up, right up? I think. Fuck that up, didn't I? Yeah, I think so. Up. Left. Left. Right. And up. While you're here, go ahead and make sure no one in the grave area or at Dompez has a confusion. Jimbe. Nope, Jimbe doesn't have one. Okay. No shame that that one doesn't. And then there, I think there's someone in the top I right. still want to know why that does that. I just heard words to live by from the other room. Woods next question mark and check on Pico Light Guy. Yeah. Thank you. 
Nope. That's frustrating. Yep. Anyway, the Pico Light is the only other thing that we know the location of except figures, so. I very like, very much like to figure out where those last three are. I think I might have a guess at least um, for where one is. Uh, there's, if I remember right, a hermit on Mount Pernell, who I feel like we couldn't fuse with at one point. Now past that though, I'm not sure. I really don't want to go back to Mount Cornell, though. Uh, Lake Hylia, whenever you had been there, you hadn't went into the one Minish house right at the Windcrest. Because you jumped down and immediately realized you hadn't been there and there was no way back up. Nope. Do you remember where on the mountain it was? I think it's right up near the left peak. That way just leads to the dungeon. Yeah. I keep thinking about it. Yeah, you have to go down a few screens to get to the peak. I don't remember where that cave was, but I think it's up the rock wall. Oh, here we go. Cool. You could refill your bottles now. I'm gonna get the uh, Oracle Charms. Okay, awesome. I agree with that plan. I'm gonna at least get the uh, defensive ones. which Of which there are two. The offensive one, I feel like I could... Uh, I feel like if my defenses are decent, I can survive without that one. True, but if uh, you get it anyway, it might be helpful. Yeah. Anyway, I think it was those little caves that were down there that you have to get through. Get to from here. Hello, Hermit. Hermit's good. That's the only person I can think of on Mount Cornell, unless there's Minish. Well, we've checked all of Malari's Minish, and we haven't seen any other Minish anywhere. There might have been one, like, around the Mount Cornell Mineral Water thing. But I don't remember. I feel like something explained the concept, but I don't know what. So yeah, past that, I guess let's go see what we can get with the figures that we have, or with the shells that we have. Oh. Should have a nifty sum of shells, at least 150. So 
tempted. We could grind off screen for more shells. Yeah, the problem is that'd be 1800 shells for the pre and post game ones. Which would be 60 times 200, 12,000 rupees. Yes. Which at the times 20 drop would be 600 times picking that up. Yes. Barely better. It's still better, I guess. Just also makes it so that sometimes we're just not going to get one. George? And hey, George! Finally. Females are larger than males. Makes you wonder what the green ones were, though. He's the baby. With 24. I mean, a chance is a chance, I guess. It's like 1 in 3. Not even 1 in 4. I've seen enough of Anju lately. So we need 11 more. 11 more per game, and then 6 posts. Yeah. We can worry about those after. Fighting, uh... Ye olde bitchy boy. So this being Monday's episode... If we... If we do some farming on... Oh! I just thought of something. Hmm. I'll take the laptop with me Tuesday. Because I'll be on the road for an hour and a half to get there, and then an hour and a half to get back. Okay. Not counting the amount of time I'm going to spend off doing side stuff that we talked about the other day. Uh, You'll have to make sure to upload the episode for Tuesday before you leave, though, because I think I go in Tuesday morning at 8. We have a few... If you just show me how to do it, I can do it. Yeah. I don't normally uh, do the uploads. That's him and Crustaceo. But, uh... It's, it's not a me thing. Having said that, three more Kinstone Fusions, 11 more statues, and... The final dungeon are all that remain for this game. Aside from picking up that last damn pick of light. So... And the thing I wanted to do the absolute least in the entire game is officially done. Having said that, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, feel free to hit that subscribe button to follow, follow us for more content. I hope you stay safe and have a wonderful night. You want to go get some KFC?